getting started on some body work on the roof of this thing since I got it flipped over while I'm letting this rocket liner dry up for about another five or six more days so I can put it back flip it over and put it back on that stand so that stuff worked out real good so what I've been working with is the roof of this thing sanding it down got to sand it down to 180 uh, got to sand it down to 80 that primer has been on there the epoxy has been on there probably uh, about a year and a half now so I sanded it all down. I got to do a little work in this area right here where I had a CV antenna right there at one time. There was a hole I filled it in. So I'm going to put a little filler over it and look all over it. Whatever I got to do to get that done. I'll be using this Evercoat Rage Extreme. I'll be using that. And we're getting ready to epoxy. I got this right here one-to-one -one mix of course I've never used this stuff before I've never really I've never even shot epoxy primer on nothing or primer so this is all new to me I'm just watching videos and things as I go make sure I'm doing everything right reading up so that's my 2k it's a four to one mix that and the activator So what I'm going to do real quick, go ahead and spread some uh, some mud on this thing, let it set, and go from there. So yeah, like I said, it's my first time doing any of this stuff right here. I'm just watching videos, reading up as I go, and uh, if anybody sees uh, if I'm doing anything wrong, just let me know. So, like I said, I started out with the... Uh, with the 80 grit all the way around I'm gonna go ahead and give me some mud on that real quick probably scuff it up a little bit with a little 50 here and there to give that a good grip hold that mud and go from there so here we go here's what I got going so far pull a lever coat down right in here let it dry for like 15 20 minutes then I hit it with this door block right here with some 80. Got that. Well, first I took my DA right there with some 80 on it. Smoothed it all out. So I got a few little problems right here where it looks like it's low. High spot right in here. Looks like I need to take this next coat on out a little bit. So I've done sanded all I really need to sand because it's starting to shine real good here and here. I know I got a low spot right in there. I can see that as you look down. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm going to take a little bit more mud right in there. I'm going to give it another good coat. Let it set. Hit it again.
I'm gonna work on this, work on this a little bit more. Plus, so smooth it out as best I can. Then I'm gonna hit a, hit it with some epoxy primer and two coats of the, or three coats of the 2K high build. Then I'll go with it from there and see what we're looking like. All right, here we go. Had to put two more coats of the Evercoat on here. Got it looking real good. There's a few small spots I notice. I guess the high build will take care of that. <clears throat> when I go with that, uh, well, epoxy, then the three coats of high build primer will take care of some small things when I go to block it out and put a guide coat on it and see, uh, look at it from there. But uh, that's all in 80 grit on the DA all the way around. I guess I'm okay with the 80 grit. Somebody let me know if I'm wrong or not. Because I'm ready for my coat of. Uh, uh, epoxy so I guess I'm okay with the 80 grit for it to stick to this metal because I was thinking I needed to do 180 than the epoxy but somebody let me know I think I'm okay with the 80 I appreciate it but uh yeah we're looking pretty good all right y'all take it easy